breaking news. Controversies hit APC as presidential primaries, as some people tries to attempt to swap the list of the delegates. Uh, the controversies is what is ongoing now. Some people have tried to swap, you know, this uh, the list of the delegates, you know, to favor them in such a way. Okay, some people have tried to, you know, they are trying to do, you know, do one thing or another. It is becoming a real point of call. Uh, you know, five persons has been picked, and those five persons that have been picked, sadly, uh, I mean, not sadly, the five people. Three happens to be from the southwest, okay. One from the south south and one from the southeast. So these are the people who have been picked, and you can see that you know all is not looking you know like what they thought. And right now you can see replacement and things that are happening have become what everybody needs to pay attention to. Some people try to swap the list, okay. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe controversy hit apc presidential primaries over attempt to replace the uh, the list of the delegates there is controversies over an alleged attempt to replace the the staff of the all progressive congress abdul list presidential primary election the cable land some youths were trained for the special convention only to replace by will be replaced on Tuesday. But Dakbo Abiodun, governor of Ogun State, reportedly intervened and resolved the matter, saying those who have been trained and has been called upon to do this job will not be automatically swept and just abandoned or some other persons picked. However, the cable also learned there is an attempt to compromise the delegate list in favor of Senator of Senate President. Ahmed Lawa. On Monday, Abdurrahim Adamu, the APC national chairman, announced Ahmed Lawa as a consensus candidate, which did not go down well, and everybody made, everybody raised up a controversy on that, saying it's never what they wanted. But Harry denied him, saying, "I never picked you as a consensus candidate, and I will never." Pick. I don't have any preferred candidates. This is the this is contrary to the arrangements made by the APC governors who want the presidential ticket to be zoned to the south, and so this can never be accepted. So members of the Party National Working Committee (NWC) aligned with the governors, saying that the southwest, the south, should produce Nigerians' next president, and given the opportunity, the secretary of the committee, Senator Gemi, a personal assistant to Lawa, Oji Kalu, Senate Chief Whip, and Ho Puzadema are also working to ensure that only delegates that only that will vote Lawa will get to the Eagle Square, a source says. This controversy is what is happening. They are blocking people on the way, okay, trying to prevent people from you know participating or coming in, saying that only those that will vote only those that will vote, you know, the, the Senate president will come in. Okay, only those that will vote for the Senate president. So this is what they are, what is going on, the controversy that has, you know, that has come into the party and everybody is looking at it and wondering what next. Okay, and, what, and wondering what next. This is what is happening right now. Okay, this is what is happening right now. Well, my wonderful people, it has become a real point of concern for every one of us to pay attention and to look at what is happening and do not, you know, double between opinions as we stand right now. The, the, the position for us to stand for what is true and refuse to be intimidated and ensure that at the end of the day, you know, the best person, the real person emerges as Nigerian's president is what we should be focused on, focused in and looking at and not allow, okay, any of these things to happen. It has become a real point of concern, you know, all the things that are happening right now. Well, my wonderful people, you see, the things that are going on are clear indications of all, okay, that you can ever imagine, okay? You can, these are clear indications of more than you can ever imagine things that are going on. It has become imperative for everyone to be, you know, fully aware, 
okay, of some of the things that are happening. You know, Buhari and the rest of them continue to, you know, uh, pretend to Nigerians like, you know, they, they know exactly what they are doing. But some people are trying to, you know, take advantage of the whole situations and all that are going on, you know, to do their own personal bidding. Okay, so this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And everybody needs to be aware. Every one of us needs to be aware of some of the things that are going on and ensure that we do not allow ourselves to be intimidated. We do not allow, okay, some persons to decide for us what will happen going forward. So as we, sp as we stand, as we speak, it is becoming important for everyone to stand up for what is right. Uh, they said uh, the Senate's chief whip, uh, Ozo Kalu, who presented Ma, these are some of the people who want Ahmed Lawa, who are working with him, you know, but other people, I mean, everybody has their preferred candidate on who should become, you know, the next president and are working for who they think best suits the job. Well, we will wait and see patiently as more and more of this unfold, you know, as we begin to see some of these days being done upon us. It's about time, my wonderful people, that we begin to re-examine the whole conditions, okay, the whole conditions and all that is going on, okay, it's about how we begin to stand for what is right. Anyway, my wonderful people, it is becoming very important that at the end of the day, every one of us, okay, we, we're standing for truth. Ahmed Lawa was deceitfully announced yesterday. However, his media aid today has said it was just media controversy trying to make Ahmed Lawa to be seen in a bad light. As we are speaking, APC governor stamped the, you know, the headquarters this morning to ask him to confront him on how and why. How come, you know, who who endorsed this guy and called him, you know, the the, the, the presidential consensus candidate? Nobody could speak. Nobody could speak. Well, these are the things happening at the days upon us, and it's about time we begin to, you know, look out for what is right and put our hearts to it and make sure that. We are standing for what is true, because if we don't, then we'll see ourselves, you know, making the wrong move or taking the wrong turn. OK, so these are the days upon us, my wonderful people. Parties are picking out their presidential candidate, the inclusiveness of APC, which is, I mean, the attention is so much because they are the ruling party. Yes. So these are some of the things that are going on. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.